What's going on you guys? TBR here back yet again with another King of Fighters All-Star video and in today's video we have a quick news roundup video for all of you guys because over on the official forums overnight CM Yuri was up to his shenanigans again and we do have a new event coming our way starting tomorrow. Well technically we have two different events that tie into one event. Is it just one event? I guess it's just one event. I guess you could split it. They split it. They call it a special crafting event and a world drop event, so I don't know. I'm rambling. Anyway, you guys, we are going to be talking about a new world drop event slash crafting event that will be coming our way starting tomorrow. We're also going to have a new push login event that isn't really anything overly exciting, but hey, it's something. But anyway, we are going to be talking about all of that in today's video, but before we go ahead and get into all of that more, make sure if you guys haven't already done so, you smash that like button and subscribe. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. Cue that intro. you guys as always i will have links in the description to all of the forum posts that we're going to be going over in today's video so that way you guys can check them out for yourselves with all that out of the way let's get into the news so first off we are going to have a new login event now this login event is going to be starting tomorrow so as you guys can see it starts on 5 12 and it runs until 5 19 and we are going to be getting 300 ap a day for the next week now this is undoubtedly going to be to coincide with the world drop event that we're about to talk about. They definitely realize we're going to need some AP out here, so we're getting 300 a day for a week. I guess that's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. Anyway, let's move to the actual events because that's really all there is to it. We're getting 300 AP a day starting tomorrow for the next week, so yay. Anyway, we have the 511 in-game event notice, right? Now we have two different things going on here. We have a special crafting event, and then we have a world drop event that we can get coins from in order to parlay into that crafting event. Now the official forums for the global side, as always, doesn't have all the information that is pertinent to this here. So we will be taking a look at the Korean side of the forums. Just be patient. So first up here, this all starts tomorrow. As you guys can see, this is going to be the NOAA special crafting event. And it basically, the event details are as follows. During the event period, you can collect Noah's special coins obtained through the following contents to create various items such as the World Drop event mystery boxes. Now this is going to be running until 6-4, so we have this stuff for quite a while. So this is going to be running for a little bit, so it doesn't look like anything we're probably going to have to rush through or really worry about too, too much, especially when we take a look at the rewards, but we'll have to wait and see what the drops are like. But speaking of drops, let's take a look at the world drop side of this. So how are we getting these coins, right? So as you guys can see, they got a handy little table here. It says Noah special coins dropped from the element advent, the hall of elements, the fighter advent, the epic advent, the power up dungeon, the story mode, and the epic quest. So this is going to be where we can pick these coins up from. We'll have to wait and see starting tomorrow what the best yields are going to be depending on these different modes. But in general, pretty standard fare it's looking like. We've gone through a ton of different world drop events in our time. They typically tend to get a little bit worse as we've gone on. But I'll let you guys be the judge when we take a look at what we're getting with this. So that is pretty much what we got there as far as where we're going to be able to get the coins. Not a whole lot of other information in here we need to go over. However, like I promised you guys, there is more information over on the Korean side of the game. So if we go over to the Korean side of the game, you guys are going to notice that we do have the scan here. We'll go ahead and blow it up and take a look at it. Now this is pretty much going to be what we can get with these coins, right? So you do see the coins right here. That's going to be them right there. And this is going to be one of the items that is going to be available. As you guys can see, the EX core board reset coins are going to be here. It's going to cost you 500 of these to get one. So again, we'll have to wait and see how much we're getting as far as yields on these coins for this world drop event in order to pick these items up. But we do have other items down here that we can craft as well. We're going to have these dispatch tokens here that are going to be your speed up tokens. It looks like there's going to be mystery boxes for those. That's definitely a pretty nice little reward, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I actually have a fair bit of these guys right here, these reset coins. So these here for the dispatch, for speeding up things, is probably going to be what I'm eyeballing. But in general, pretty good little items here. You know, it's not anything that's overly exciting. It's not anything that's going to make everybody jump up and down. 
but I would say that these are things that are definitely useful. And they're things that we don't see come around very often as far as items that we can just kind of pick up like this. So we'll have to wait and see how many of these things we can craft. Maybe that we can only get a couple of them, but hey, we'll have to wait and see. Again, when we've had so many different events coming along back to back that require so much AP, this may be one of those things a lot of people decide to sit out on in order to conserve AP. It's going to come down to what you got. But then we also have a mystery box here that almost looks like it's going to be a mystery box for the actual coins for this crafting event. So I'm curious to see what's going on there. Not entirely sure what that's going to entail as far as the contents. And then we have a gold mystery box. So in general, I can't really tell if there's a slider here. I don't think that there is. So it almost looks like these are the only items that we can really craft from this. I guess we'll have to wait and see to make sure. But this is the only scan that they provided from Netmarble over on the Korean side of the game. And I will have a link to the Korean side as well in the, in the description to this video. But in general, you guys, that's pretty much what we got. This is definitely smacking of a tide them over update. This is something to kind of bridge the gap until the Keo events end. So this isn't anything that's overly crazy. Like I had mentioned, when it comes to any of these world drop events, it feels like they've gotten progressively less and less rewarding over time. So this one, I'm gonna wait and see on because there could be some more to this. We don't know, although it doesn't look like that's going to be the case. I'm just gonna take the wait and see approach. But that's pretty much what we're looking at as far as the world drop event this time around, you guys. Again, these are all the places we can go ahead and farm these coins. These are the different things we can craft using these coins that we're going to be getting. And in general, we do also have a new login event with some AP for the next week starting tomorrow. So again, tied them over stuff, nothing too crazy, but I wanted to make sure that I brought this to you guys' attention. I hope you all found it informative. If you did, smash that like button and subscribe. Let me know in the comments section if you're looking forward to any of this and how you feel about this world drop event. Is this just a tied them over thing to you guys too to fill some time? You can let me know. But until the next time, you guys take care. Peace. Continue.